you have here is brought to you courtesy of the young man, young Carter, and the great man, Manny Fresh. So what I want y'all out there to do for me is say this. Say go, DJ. Oh, my DJ. Wayne right here with my man Randy Moss in this 14th season. Okay. People say I'm outspoken. People say you outspoken. We kind of say what we want, but I tell people we say what we feel. Right. How do you deal with that? Like, do you feel, do you embrace it? Do you do you think you're misunderstood? How do you see? One thing I've learned is, is in this profession, it's not always the right thing to say. Mm -hmm. And I had to learn that because yeah. growing up, that's the way I've always been. Mm -hmm. Because that's one thing that has gotten me in trouble in this league. If you don't write checks, how do you pay these guys? Great cash, homie. <laughs> I don't think that I wouldn't be myself if if I if I wouldn't speak whatever comes to my mind. Exactly. I listen to your music, you know, you speak it the way I speak it. <laughs> yeah. We always say real recognize real mm -hmm. with your music. I think that flatters a lot of people because you know, I think they wish that they could say mm. what comes to their mind. Mm -hmm. Now you know I play like a pro in the game. Nah, no, better yet a better in the Hall of Fame. I got that medicine, I'm better than all the names. Hey, it's Cash Money Records, man, a lawless gang. See, Carter mentored you when you first came in. What would you learn from him? I think what I learned from Chris Carter, man, was he showed me how to focus and tune in and understand the task at hand was mm -hmm. to go out here and get better every day to be able to put the results on the field. I still appreciate Chris Carter to this day. I understand that, you know, now he's in the studio, mm -hmm. you know, doing something that he likes to do. Mm -hmm. That's talk. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so he taught me a lot. You know, I learned a lot from him. It's interesting because he was saying how it's a job and because I, I was trying to teach some of these younger rappers these days that they think that it's just you record a song, you put that song out, then you go to the club and enjoy yourself. No. Right. You record a song, and you record a song, and you record a song, and you record a song. So you keep grinding. That's how you right. do it. Yeah. Keep grinding. Yeah. Why'd you come out of retirement? Well, I think that a lot of people didn't understand, man, that I think later on in my life, I'll let people know why I went into retirement. Mm -hmm. and. It had nothing to do with the game of football. It had to do with, you know, my family, putting them on the right page and them understanding who daddy really was. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to do it. I mean, I cried like a baby in my garage. I really did. I cried like a baby. And uh, I'm talking about snotty nose and everything. I mean, I cried like a baby because I, I love the game of football so much. I mean, I asked my oldest daughter, she's 18, a freshman at Florida. And I said, baby, do you, what do you think about daddy coming back? She's like, Dad, I didn't think you were done. Mm. I said, was well, it okay? You know, if I came back to the game? She's like, yeah. She's like, I want you to win the Super Bowl because I'm going to win the NCAA championship. That really solidified everything for me to come back out of retirement. It's good to see that I, I can still be able to do it at a high level. DJ, 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 DJ.